hi friends welcome to our channel so before start today's video I would like to thanks to my subscriber those who subscribe to our channel and same time I want to request the viewer please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification about the new videos the question comes normally that how to take the backup of the HANA database similarly in HANA database there is a system DB tenant uh, tenant database so how to take the backup of the system database as well as the tenant database and what are the different ways those we can use to take the backup of the HANA database so let's start so in today's video we are going to see first thing that is the how to take the backup of the HANA database with the different options and second is the point to note it about the HANA database backup so the first option is SAP GUI so uh, in SAP GUI first of all you need to log in with your user ID and credential those who have the access to uh, DB13 so you have to use the transaction DB13 so in DB13 you will get an option to uh, you know schedule the backup as well as if the backup is already scheduled then you can re-execute it uh, so you know you can take the backup from the SAP level SAP GUI SAP application level so that is the first option that you can use to take the backup of the HANA database second option that is the HANA studio so from the HANA studio to take the backup you have to go to the HANA studio then you can see here in the toolbar that is the backup option is given so just double click on backup option that is the one thing you can do or just you know do the right click go to the backup and recovery and here you can see the open backup console similarly you can use this option backup system database and backup tenant database so these options are given here so if you want to take the backup of the system DB just you know click on the system DB and select the option we already explained about this uh, types of backup in a last video so please refer this video to get the information about the types of backup so the complete backup select this option which is the default is selected and then the file system or the backend tool which we are using and then just click on the next so this is the default location uh, of the backup so you can specify your location uh, if uh, it's there and just you know so we, we will just specify the location for the backup point of view and then backup will start here click on next and finish so now the backup of the system database is started so as we can see here the backup is running to so to, to get the details about the current status of the backup you can come to the overview and see the status so you can get the details on the this console as well which is open for the backup so once this backup is finished we will start the uh, our next backup which is the tenant database backup okay so now we can see that the backup of the system database is finished so open the log file to get the more information about the backup uh, or we, you can also get the details from the backup catalog so system database system is selected here so you can get the details from here so the next backup which is the system uh, sorry tenant database backup so to get the uh, to take the backup of the tenant database go to the backup console and just click on the tenant database so you can see here the name of the tenant database is given here so if you have the multiple tenant database you just have to do the single thing that is just select it okay by selecting that particular tenant database the backup of that particular tenant database only will get run so uh, in my case that is the HDB so that's the reason I selected the HDB and then click on the next and again the same thing that as I said that if the location is there specify that location and backup will be start so just click on here you will get the you know information about the 
database as well as the, about the backup that we are going to take the complete backup file system backup this is the location and this is the backup prefix which is important in case of the recovery so just click on the finish so after clicking on the finishing now you can see here the index server and the access engine backup is started so, so now we saw that how to take the backup of the tenant database from the HANA studio so this is the second option to take the backup of the HANA studio now the third option which we can use that is the SQL statement so to use the SQL statement uh, you know we have to use the HANA studio as well as you can also run that uh, statement from the OS level by you know login with the uh, respective user of, of HDB SQL so that way also you can do so just right click on uh, particular tenant database and just select the SQL the statement for executing the backup is it's a backup data using file and then in bracket we have to mention the path so in our case so path then complete the bracket and then just execute the here the execution is so just click on execute so now the you can we can see here the backup is running here we can see that the backup is running two backups already completed and this is this one is running so from backup catalog we can see here the backup is running actually here yet not displaying the status of the backup which is running so here now we can see the statement is successfully executed you can see the information here and now if we see in the backup catalog I hope we can see the status here so now here we can see the status that the backup is completed successfully okay so now the the last one that is the OS level job so we can use the cron tab to you know the schedule this script which will run as per the schedule timeline or defined timeline so I'm just giving you the SAP note which you can use to you know to download the script so but before uh, you know the executing please ensure that you have that much knowledge and you know please test on the test environment the SAP node that is the 1950261 so from this SAP node you can download the script and you know use that script into cron tab and then you can also schedule the backup from the cron tab as per the defined timeline okay so these are the these are the ways to take the backup of the HANA database I hope you understand this so now we will go to the next point that is the point need to be noted where you know in case of the HANA backup so the first point that is the when we can take the backup of the HANA database so always remember that in case of HANA database you have to take the backup only when the database is online so all the configured SAP services must be online to take the backup that is the first thing and while full backup like data backup and the snapshot delta backup differential and incremental backup and the log backup are being created the impact on the system performance is negligible because it's taking the very very you know less amount of RAM and the CPU so uh, you know users can continue to work normally so there is no such impact but it always you know uh, recommended to uh, schedule the backup or you know uh, schedule the backup daily when the uh, off business hours so when the business is not going on that uh, after that you can normally schedule the backup 
so this is the one time and uh, second point that I want to add about the data backup that is the so when we take the data backup you know the unused space in the HANA database is not backed up this is always remember this point uh, because if you see in the HANA studio if you double click on the any of the your database so on the first screen only in overview you will see the disk uses data volume size total disk size okay and the this information over here so sometimes you may observe that the total disk size you know is showing the huge and the size of the backup is very less as well as the data volume size is uh, huge but the size of the backup is less so here also we can see that so, uh, backup size is 1.67 GB whereas the if we see the you know uh, data volume size it's showing the 3.47 so so in the backup it never you know backed uh, unused space of the HANA database a full database backup contain all data that is required to recover the database to the consistent states consistent state this include both business data as well as administrative data like administrative means our user these informations also will get added into this and business data the third point keep it in the mind that if already full database backup is running and if you started the another backup so what will happen so if already one backup is running so the first backup will run continuously and for the second backup which executed for that backup it will show the error message that backup is already running this kind of you know message you will get so best uh, I recommend that let the first backup finish then only start the second second database backup and the last point that is it is not possible you know it is not possible always remember to backup and recover the individual database object so like you know with the help of backup like you know the schema or particular package uh, particular object so uh, so I want to say that uh, that if if you want to back up uh, the particular schema or the or package you have to use the different way but the backup option is not applicable for the uh, for, for the particular objects so these are the you know few important point that uh, I, I, I thought that I should you know inform you guys so I hope you like this video and if you like please uh, you know subscribe to the channel and uh, share this video with your friend and please don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the new notification about the upcoming videos so thank you for watching take care bye bye